Thank you very much for watching my film, I hope you enjoyed it. I bring out a bikepacking film every single month so if you did like it please feel free to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions put them in the comments box. So I got the train to Moulton from Leeds and I cycled from Moulton to Pickering. Uh, there I saw the steam train as you'll have seen in the film uh, and from then on really after I'd had something to eat I headed up into the North Yorkshire Moors. The weather was absolutely beautiful and it was incredibly hilly as always. Very very steep, very challenging so if you are going to do it make sure you've got some easy gears on there or you pack light. I followed the roads up to Whitby and that's where I camped, literally a campsite right next to Whitby Abbey which was really handy. Quite a basic campsite but everything I needed there just to rest and set off the next day. The weather wasn't so great uh, overnight, it did rain quite a lot, but thankfully I was sleeping in a tent this time. I was testing out the Nemo Hornet, which is a tiny one-man tent which packs really light and into the front bag on my bike, which is fantastic. It was much better than sleeping in the rain in a bivvy bag like I normally do. So while I was at Whitby I had to have fish and chips, so I went down to the harbour and had fish and chips for tea. Went to bed and in the morning it was very wet, I packed up all my stuff quite early and set off on the Cinder Trail. I've had lots of comments and questions asking about the Cinder Trail and, and is it suitable for road bikes or mountain bikes or what have you. Um, it's really difficult to say to be honest, the Cinder Trail runs from Whitby to Scarborough and it sort of stops in little villages like Raven's Car on the way. It's absolutely beautiful, you get a really stunning view of the sea on your left as, you, as you're heading down but the surface varies massively so at the beginning in Whitby it's completely smooth and it is suitable for road bikes, suitable for any bike and as the trail progresses it just gets worse and worse and at points it's pretty unrideable unless you've got a full suspension mountain bike or you're packing very light. If you've got a gravel bike you might be okay but I had a lot of gear on there which made handling quite difficult uh, and obviously if you lose your traction and you've not got the gears it can take you ages to get that speed going again. Just near Robin Hood's Bay I was flying the drone out just to get a nice view of the bay in the distance uh, when I heard some people uh, sounding really excited and shouting and I caught a glimpse of what they were saying and they were saying that they could they could see some dolphins out there which I didn't even realise were around at this time of year so you'll have seen in the film I flew the drone over and to my amazement there were absolutely loads of them following boats and apparently it had been in the news that there was a large pod of dolphins out in the bay area which was amazing. So I stopped off at Robin Hood's Bay just for breakfast really and then carried on the cinder trail to Scarborough so it wasn't a very long day, definitely doable, 
uh, less hilly than the day before and something that I think a lot of people would like to do so if you are heading out that way definitely give that a try. I hope you enjoyed that film, please consider subscribing and sharing with your friends, I will see you in the next video. Cheers!